Okay, so I'm going to level with you guys. This feels like a beta patch prior to the expansion coming out. The 11.0.5 anniversary patch came out yesterday. If you guys watched yesterday's video, I kind of talked about how they were doing some class tuning that was incredibly questionable. Um, I didn't fully understand the reason that a lot of these classes were being tuned necessarily the way that they were. Uh, this is kind of where we left off, right? We left off with Arcane Mage getting an 11.5% buff, you know, Frost DK getting an 8.1% buff, Elemental Shaman getting an insane damage gain. You know, a lot of those specs that were in my A tier for Mythic Plus ended up getting a damage gain, which was, you know, questionable. And we had a lot of people protesting inside of LFG, right, where they were listing groups that said protesting. So after that, uh, you know, servers went down for maintenance, and Blizzard decided that Frost DK and Arcane Mage were getting buffs unnecessarily, which is fair. Right, so they, they go through and they change the class trees or the hero talent trees that were actually going to give them that damage gain, right? So they end up nerfing Deathbringer and they end up nerfing Sun Fury. They also take a little bit off of Arcane Blast and Arcane Barrage. They also take a little bit off of Breath of Syndragosa, Obliterate, Obliterate, and Icy Death Torrent. These are all fine. Um, they also ended up nerfing Blood Decay, which was... I think most people would agree that Blood Decay wasn't in a state where it necessarily needed to be nerfed, but you know what? So be it. And then we kind of enter a state where, okay, the, pa the patch is down, or the servers are down, the patch is going live. And then kind of like, what are we expecting to see? Um, so th these are the tuning numbers after what we saw with patch, right? Where it's, you know, Frost Mage getting buffed, Assassination Road getting 6% buff, Beastmaster Hunter getting slight buff, you know, uh, some of these rogue specs getting tuned up. Um, you, you know, Arcane Mage ends up being about a 1% damage nerf. Frost Death Knight I saw was like 0.3% damage nerf on single target, point, uh, 2.5 down on AoE. Again, these are all fine. You know, there's still questions as to why Fire Mage is getting nerfed. Why is Red Paladin getting a chip nerf here? Why is Destro Warlock getting a chip nerf here? Why is Holy Paladin getting nerfed here? Whatever. The Enhancement Shaman stuff, I think it ended up being that there was a lot of stuff that were script side where it's like undata mineable changes without testing. Uh, the, the PTR had been down for a while, and so it was impossible to change some of the enhancement and stuff. But after it came up, it seemed like that spec was... It was pretty good. You know, it was still I would say it was about as good as it was in the past. And if you ask a lot of players, the last patch that we had was actually relatively good, class tuning-wise. And, you know, I don't think it was like the perfect patch QA-wise in terms of like what bugs and whatnot we had, but it wasn't like the worst patch I'd ever seen. But man, some stuff has changed, and I, I I can't even describe it. I'm so disappointed in what's going on with this anniversary patch with what has been launched. This feels incredibly untested in a way that I don't normally feel about World of Warcraft patches. Uh, so, you know, there's a ton of bugs. Uh, if you go through... Elismir has this tweet out, this has to be by far the most buggy and rush mess of a patch I've ever experienced in Modern WoW. So many core abilities is completely non-functional. Tons of class changes from the past month randomly reverted. Tuning is all over the place, no communication, what happened? So what you need to know is that they pushed a lot of tuning to this anniversary patch. And a lot of that stuff just didn't get merged into the live game. So if there was anything that was hot fixed within the last month, for whatever reason, that just didn't get merged in. And so occasionally some specs just ended up getting nerfed because a like a Shadow Priest, for example. Shadow Priest got buffed probably a month ago, but those buffs were never on the anniversary PTR. And so then whenever the anniversary PTR got merged into the live game, those buffs that were present for the Shadow Priest a month ago just weren't even on this live patch. And so th those things are just like missing. There's a bunch of other bugs. You know, there's a new outlaw bug this patch. Upper handed, upper hand. You know, Blade Flurry does not lose duration during Adrenaline Rush. For some reason, this just doesn't work occasionally and it will fall off randomly, making you lose your uh, damage cooldown for outlaw. There's this insane bug for Restoration Shaman, and we noticed it whenever we were playing Mythic Plus yesterday. Restoration Shaman's Ascendance does not work. Like, you get the initial heal from the Ascendance, but then the probably the most important cooldown for Restoration Shaman is just non-functional at this current time of recording this video. There was this tweet from Elismir where he had Blessing of Sacrifice on his entire party. How does this even happen? How does something like this even occur where Blessing of Sacrifice is on the entire party? You also have Elemental Shaman quite literally doing like 3.5 million DPS overalls without uh, an, an augmentation evoker in their party in some instances. And there's this clip from Petco here that I saw, I don't know, 15 minutes prior to recording where he goes and they do this pull in Stone Vault and he's popping off for 25 million DPS. 
Now, I want I want you to know that this isn't due to a bug, but this is due to the fact that that Elemental Shaman was changed to be this, right? This, if you wanted something that needed to be emergency nerfed as well, Elemental Shaman, look at this damage that they're doing on AoE, is is absolutely out of control. Where they went and did their took their best stat or their worst stat mastery, it had like zero value and made it their best stat. And Elemental Shaman was already a specialization that was pretty good. I don't think anybody was like, Elemental Shaman needs to get nerfed. Nobody nobody was out here preaching that Elemental Shaman got nerfed. If Elemental Shaman got a 2% buff due to this, cool. But now, Elemental Shaman is doing twice the amount of DPS of other specializations. And again, this kind of leads me into feeling like this patch is completely untested. There's also this incredible bug as well. I don't care about PvP, but I know that there are some people that do, where Dark Ranger Hunter is just one-shotting people, and they're able to one-shot people all the time, and I've seen actually a, a decent amount of complaints about people exploiting Dark Ranger Hunter just to be able to one-shot people over and over again in Arena, and that's just been left up over the course of an entire day in like a rated format, right? Where for some reason that, that didn't get emergency fixed either. Uh, I watched a lot of people in Raid yesterday just completely completely lagging and having other experiences like this that you're going to see on screen here where uh, there's just a lot of experiences where players are it, it, just like on bosses either lagging uh, the servers weren't really stable which you know it happens sometimes but then you don't really have sp spots like this happen where the the vfx of the boss are just completely desynced from the entire game where your entire raid is getting impaled by spikes and this is just a very common thing that's been happening on this patch where it feels very much and very similar to like a beta patch before an expansion comes out. And so, you know, that's kind of where we left off yesterday with some really questionable tuning where I was like, why is this even happening? And we still have some questionable tuning, like some of these specs that are getting nerfed that probably didn't deserve it or end up getting nerfed. An Elemental Shaman is doing whatever the hell this is, 25 million DPS on a trash pull on like a 10 target pull because he's just like pressing chain lightning over and over okay, okay the rotation changed a little bit i don't want to speak out of turn the rotation changed a little bit they're not, they're not just pressing chain lightning anymore but like it, it feels very disorganized i hope that blizzard honestly if you want if you want what i hope happens i hope the emergency nerf elemental shaman i don't even need them to be like gutted I want them brought back to close to what they were prior to the patch. I don't even need to see them nerfed necessarily what they were prior to the patch. But I do need them brought back to where they were because right now the damage that they're doing is completely out of control. Um, th these bugs that are present on this new patch that were not present earlier, they have to be fixed. Like this, this, this ascendance change, this upper hand, upper hand change, uh, the ability to be able to sack your entire party. Oh, I didn't even bring this up. Hold on. I forgot about this one. Protection Paladin just launched with 100% crit strike on wings for whatever reason. And so prop paladins were do doing literal DPS damage on, on patch launch as well. Um, the shadow priest buffs need to be merged into the patch. Like there's so much stuff that's going on right here. They also, Blizzard also did end up stating that they were going to do, um, it's not on here. They said that they were going to post more hot fixes on Friday to specializations as they monitor their DPS. But there's some stuff that needs to be changed like today. Like this, this, uh, there is a couple of things in it and the bugs in particular have to be fixed like ASAP. That needs to be like our top priority here. It's a very unfortunate video to make. I actually don't like making this video. This is just an, in, in my opinion, the quality of this patch, um, it feels very rushed for, and it's an unforced error because I don't think anybody was like, we need this patch like right now. The, the raid itself, BRD is actually kind of cool. I was going through it a little bit with some friends. I actually didn't mind BRD itself, but just the quality that the patch launched with the classes, with the talents, with so many random bugs is just a, an, such an unforced error from Blizzard's perspective and something that um, I'm kind of disappointed in. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Goodbye.